I want us to have a look at an incident that happened yesterday in Kakamega as Ruto was addressing the locals. Have a look at this. Wacha nimalize hapo. Na ni waulize. Wacha tu kidogo. Aya, sawa. Aketi hapa. Weka hii hapo. No, wewe. Mulete hapa. Wewe. Lete hii hapa. Wewe. Yeah, mulete hapa aketi hapo. Enda aketi hapo. Ketishe pale. Tamuongelesha badai. Very good. Asante sana. So, um, mimi nataka ni waeleze ya kwamba hiyo kazi yote ambayo imebaki nimepata bunge letu ili tuweze kuendesha transformation ya Kenya tunahitaji sheria zipitishwe bunge tumepitisha sheria ya mambo ya afya tumepitisha sheria ya mambo ya sukari tumepitisha sheria ya mambo ya housing na huyu ndugu yangu Moses um, huyu ndugu yangu Moses Wetangula amenisaidia hiyo kazi Tafadhali tumpigie makofi huyu Moses Wetangula jameni Vile vile ndugu yangu Musalia Mudabadi katika mambo ya diplomasia We all agree we have the best diplomat in Musalia Mudabadi kwa sababu ya kazi yake anafanya the man appears to me as a hungry innocent hustler who just wanted to catch the attention of the president why is he being manhandled and why is it that the security is not listening to the president because Ruto is telling them watch our watching but they continue manhandling the man what are the games being played here ladies and gentlemen if you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed subscribe give this video a like let's continue Ruto's security detail is not listening to him because they know Ruto does not mean those words. When he says we are watching, he does not mean that. I'm seeing a very bitter and a very angry William Ruto, wishing that if that camera was not there, that man would have known who he is. So the security detail knows that. And that's why they're not even bothered when he says we're watching. They are still manhandling that man. Secondly, I'm seeing a security detail that does not respect the president. They have been with him. Wanamuona kama mtubure kabisa. Somebody not worth being respected. That's why the president is shouting on watching but they are still manhandling him after we they take him nyuma ya tent and hapo nyuma ya tent the man is cursing the day he attempted to catch the attention of the president what does all that mean the first thing coming out clearly Ruto and his team are very insensitive to the plights of the hustlers. They don't care about the hustlers. Whether a hustler is dying or not, they don't care. What William Ruto is interested in is how that hustler can vote him again, can re-elect him again 
come the next election, whether you are suffering now or not, that's none of this business. A very insensitive government. Something also coming out very clearly, Kenyans will continue suffering until that day they will elect leaders who are listening to them. The local leaders are not listening to the people. The top leaders are also not listening to the people. The suffering will continue till that day Kenyans will elect leaders who are listening to them. And I've always said, a leader giving you handouts, that's a leader who will not listen to you. A leader should come to you with his policies, what he intends to do. It's upon you now to make your decision whether he is the right leader or not. A leader coming to you with the tokens and handouts, that's a leader buying you. Upon you giving him or her your votes, that's the end of the deal. That's exactly what is happening here. Ruto and his team, in 2022, they were all over giving handouts and tokens to Kenyans. These are the consequences of politics of tokenism. Something also coming out clearly, Kenyans are suffering. They are hungry. So it's true, Ruto lied to them that he was going to form a government with them. Hustlers are waking up that Ruto formed the government with his friends and allies. They've been left wallowing in poverty. And that's why that hustler wanted just to confirm what happened, what went wrong, why is he not in government. So that's a confirmation. Ruto lied to the hustlers. The hustlers are waking up to the reality that they are still poor the way they were when William Ruto was campaigning for the presidency. Ruto is now the president. They are still poor. That should be a lesson to Kenyans that sometimes if you see a leader over-promising, reject that leader. A leader giving so many promises, that's a leader who will clearly not fulfill on those promises. Reject that leader. If the promises are not real, if the promises are not in tandem with the character of that leader, reject that leader. Leaders always have track records. Ruto's track record has been out in public. How he started his politics in the early 90s with YK92. That's a track record that was out in the public domain. Kenyans ignored and assumed all that. You are seeing they're now suffering. From that incident again, it's a fact that the likes of Musalia, Mudavadi, and Wetangula are just eating alone. They joined the government alone. Freedom came to them alone. They left their people behind. And that's why we are seeing incidences like that. As I conclude, Ruto was in Bungoma, after which he flew to Kakamega. His campaigning for 2027 disguised as development to us. Some Kenyans are cheering him up and alluding. It's important for Kenyans to know that William Ruto made some promises to them in 2022. As I talk, he has not fulfilled on those promises. Instead of Kenyans cheering and relating to Ruto, they should demand of him to go back to the office and fulfill on the promises he made in 2022. If they cheer him up and relate, William Ruto will not deliver. 
In fact, he will be campaigning till 2027. Kenyans should be brave enough to demand of William Ruto to stop the early campaigns and to go back to the office. That's the only way at least Kenyans can get some services from this government. That's exactly what's happening here. And the mishandling of the man confirms that those surrounding William Ruto does not want him to know what's happening on the ground. And I won't be wrong to conclude, they are also contributing to William Ruto failing to fulfill on his promises. Let me stop it there. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Those who are watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.